Tonight, Lawrence makes a friend, I give a traditional German greeting, and Mike does Sorry. a pirouette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint, where I'm um, on the out on the hunt for checkpoints, just for, uh, just for a change. So, at the moment, the first one is just down the hill to the right, so I've spawned in really, really close to it. I've been driving around in circles a little bit, so I've given the hunters a bit of a chance to, to try and um, to try and get themselves into the area, and I have actually seen one of them. So I think it's going to be it's going to be reasonably justifiable for me to go down, head down there and take it. So I'm uh, I'm going to going to drop down this hill now, drive through the checkpoint, and uh, and tag it. So it should be um, a nice, easy. Hopefully, it will be a nice, easy first checkpoint, and the hunters won't actually be sitting too close to it and guarding it, because they don't actually know where the checkpoints are. They just know roughly where I am because they've got the big circle that tells them tells them where I am, um, but they don't know they don't know where I'm going, what, what I'm going for. They just know that I'm roughly in this area. So there's one of them now at the moment, sort of having a bit of a nosy around down here. Um, but I think I better stop at this light. What they do, right, okay, one of them's gone away. I didn't. I saw Tristan turn up as well, but he seems yeah he seems to have also gone. Right, I'm now at the front of a queue of cars, so I'm going to get out of here because I don't like this. Uh, why did that not take? I've got the, the circle is turned on because I, I can tell because I've got the notification at the bottom of the screen that tells me where I'm supposed to be. Oh, okay. There is a glitch in the game at the moment. This is not the checkpoint. Um, the checkpoint is over at the beach, but for some reason. This checkpoint is still show displayed here, so I don't know what's going. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I do know I need to get out of this area because it's teeming with. Well, I was going to say it's teeming with hunters. That's not quite true. It's teeming with Mark. <laughs> I've seen him about three times now, so I want to get out of here. But I don't want to go when the lights are red because then he'll get suspicious. And he's got a better car than me. Whilst mine is technically a sports car, it's a Futo, and that's not the best of the sports cars. So he's. Being aggressive to that one. There's a green light. Let's go. He's not following me. Excellent. I'm going to drive a bit quicker than I really should, because I kind of want to get away from him, because I've been in that area in that area for far too long, and I think it's time I got a shift on. So let's get out of here. Now there's another. There's been a new feature that was actually added in a few weeks ago, and I've just never quite got round to using it because, uh, for various reasons mostly because I've sort of partly because I keep forgetting about it at an appropriate time and partly because there just haven't been that many appropriate times so what I can do is I can type AI spawn like that and an AI, a random AI will appear and come running across and get in my car and this is because we've noticed that frequently um, or rather we've noticed that normally you don't you can never have a second person in a player car so the hunters often get suspicious of cars because they've only got one one person in them. So if we can get a second person in like this, then the, then it'll look a bit less suspicious to them, and hopefully they won't. They'll take they'll take one look at it. They'll go, oh, there's two people in it, and drive off, and ignoring it completely. Now I can do this multiple times and get three, four people in a car, or at least a car like this one that has four seats. Oh no, I can't. It hasn't got any back doors. So okay, I can't do that in this particular car. But in theory, I can get multiple people into. The, I can get as many people as, as there are seats or doors into the car, which is particularly good with buses. So most of the hunters don't know this feature exists. So this is hopefully going to be quite a good sneaky tactic. However, one of them does know it exists because he's the one who coded it into the into the game mode. So he's going to know all about. He knows all about it. Um, it's not going to fool him. But in the meantime, we'll see. We'll see if I can sort of. We'll see if, see if he can sort of just keep reasonably quiet about it. Hopefully, he can. <laughs> Alright, so the, I'm, go, I'm also going to hope the Futo is a sufficiently nondescript car that maybe I'll be able to get away with using it for a little while without getting too much suspicion from the hunters. I do see a purple Mustang parked over there on the other side of the junction, which is a little bit of a concern. I think it's probably an abandoned car. It's definitely an abandoned car, because that was the purple hunter going through there at about a million miles an hour. Um, there's a green light there now, so I'm going to take this and go. Okay. So I need to head down towards the beach, ideally around these um, panicking pedestrians. Um, there's a lot of them. There must have been some shooting going on. So, so I'll pull up over here. Right. 
Okay, this is going this is going reasonably well so far, apart from the the odd phantom checkpoints that are appearing on the map. I think that must have just been something that didn't get cleaned up properly after the last run. So, yes, yeah, so I haven't. Um, this this is Manhunt checkpoint. I shall do a bit of an introduction to the game for anyone who's new, um, since I didn't didn't really talk about that on the um, in, in the in, in the intro because I was busy being distracted by there being hunters all over the place and and checkpoints that didn't work properly. So the idea is that there's a checkpoint somewhere on the map. At the moment it's at beach, which is what the text at the bottom of the screen is telling me, so I, I know I need to head down over that way. The hunters, there are hunters also around the map, and they, they're going to be trying to hunt me down and stop me taking the checkpoint. If I manage to take the checkpoint, another one will appear. If I manage to take all five of them, then I win the game. If they manage to... If they manage to um, and their objective is to spot me, catch me, kill me, that sort of thing. And if they can do that, then they win the game. And currently, they tend to win the game most of the time. I have to admit, I'm um, I, t I, t I tend to struggle a bit. Maybe we need to start saying that whenever they kill themselves like that, they um, that they, uh, they they have they're, they're out and they aren't allowed to carry on. But we tend not to have enough players really for that to be practical. And also, it's not much fun if you're if you're out in the first few minutes of the game and you don't get to play it anymore afterwards. Um, I'm going to pull a left turn here, even though you're not really supposed to from that junction, because I want to head down towards the checkpoint, which is down this way. I'm going to hope the hunters think I'm going for Chinese Monument because it's just up there and I might be. It's, it's in the area that I've just gone through. Because they have a big circle that appears on the map and that gives them a rough idea of where I am. Um, it doesn't give them a precise idea of where I am. You'll see in the bottom left there's things popping up telling them, uh, telling me how big the circle currently is. And over time that'll, the circle gradually shrinks, making it easier and easier for them to find me. But also when I take checkpoints it gets bigger as well, making it slightly easier for me to hide, giving me a sort of incentive to take checkpoints. Like those classic racing arcade games where each time you take a checkpoint you get a bit more time added onto the clock for you. Um, it's still it's very big actually. We've we had a lot of people last week, so we made the circle bigger. We're now down to um, one, two, three, four, five hunters. So there's quite a few of them, so I don't feel too bad about having a big circle, but I will point it out next time we stop. Um, it's a green light, let's go. Thank you. Right, there's the checkpoint. There's another suspicious red glow ahead, just like the other one I saw, but this one hopefully will allow me to take it. So I'm quite close to the checkpoint now. The problem with the beach checkpoint is there's really only one place I can be going if the circle comes down to this area. So I'm not. I'm going to ignore these red lights. I'm going to head over there relatively quickly, grab it, and then try and get out of here like this. <clears throat> because there is only one place I could be going. Oh, and this, the effect from this checkpoint is to give me a burst of speed. That's convenient, actually. And to change the weather. Maybe. I'm not sure. So, yes, we've... Um, one of the things we introduced uh, last week, I think maybe the week before, was um, a feature where when the prey takes a checkpoint, there is an effect happens um, about half the time. Ooh, that's sliding. Um, and the effects will be things like giving a boost of speed as you saw then or maybe bursting some tires or I think changing the weather is one of them now I'm not sure why we got multiple effects then oh slightly I'm just gonna carry on across here because I couldn't stop before I got to the uh, the junction even though I saw a uh, one of the hunters go flying across there so um, yes let's go go for the next checkpoint now I sort of want to um, consider changing cars but at the moment I mean this this Futo is doing okay Granted, I haven't got into an actual chase yet, but it seems to be okay. It was very slidey then, though, when I had to, when I, um, when I was trying to brake for that corner, uh, for that uh, for those traffic lights. So the second checkpoint is just over there at, Life, at the Life Invader building. So I'm very, very close to it. I'm practically there. I'll, 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 I'll go and take the checkpoint in this car. I'm not, I'm not going to switch now. It's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth it, um, since I am so nearly there. And that's not the sort of line the AIs usually take through these corners. Um, okay, let's go here. So that was a hunter flying who just flew past me then. Um, I didn't see where he went, but I'm going to grab this checkpoint and head off after this motorbike and see where we end up from this. Well, I say see where we end up. I know I know pretty much where we're going, but why have I got a wanted level? Is that that's another effect, isn't it? Getting a wanted level. Oh no. This is going to be tricksy. So there are a couple of cop cars behind me. Let's see. I think I might need to do a little bit of fleeing to try and get away from these cops. Oh dear. <laughs> That's awkward. So, um, 
that's that must be an effect from the um, from taking the checkpoint. But what about, what's the best thing for me to do about this? I guess probably to run away from the cops until I lose the wanted level. Because if if I sit in traffic as I normally would if I was playing some, doing something like this normally, then the, they'll find me and they'll start shooting at me because that's what cops do in America. Um, but if I sort of get if, if if I if I keep moving, I've got the mini map so I can tell where the cops are. And I can hopefully avoid them until the wanted level goes away. This is interesting. I'd, I'd forgotten this was one of the effects. Now, the the uh, question I'm I'm curious about is whether the hunters have also got the same um, whether the same thing has happened to the hunters. Oh, there we go. There's my wanted level gone. Right, good. So now hopefully the hunters will be um, still be being harassed by the cops, but I'm not. That orange police car must have been Mike because it was orange. He drove straight past me though. Maybe that's because there's two people in the car, so he just assumed it wasn't me. And that's my that's my best guess. But I want to get right. So maybe this is working. Anyway, I need to head over to uh, Square of Squares now. So let's let's bimble that way. Now I think the best way to do it is probably to get onto the highway at Casino and then head down from there because that'll allow me to get down there quite quickly without doing any sort of nefarious traffic uh, road law breaking shenaniganery. Now, oops. I think I do want to change cars, actually. I want something a little bit better than the Futo. So I'm going to change into this um, Zion. But given how well it was working previously, I am going to spawn in... Oh, this is a Zion. Oh, no, it's, it's an Is This an Oracle? Um, it's not an Oracle. It, I'm pretty sure it's a... No, it's a Sentinel. Okay. So there is a bit of a running joke that um, Mike can't identify oracles. And I think because it's April the 1st when we're filming this, I think Tristan has been going in and playing and, and playing silly what's names. So let's let's leave that. Let's get this take this Jaguar XFR. I think this is probably a better car to have. Um, and we like we like Jaguars. They're, 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 Jaguars are nice. Um, so I can head yeah carry on heading over this way. Oop, there's a green light. I want to do the thing where I pull in another, um, where I pull another person into the car again, because I think that's going. I think that is a big help with this game. So I'll pull up here at a red light, have a quick look around for um, for hunters. I don't see any, so we'll grab another AI. He can come and jump in the car with me. Is this a four door? It is a four door. Let's do it again, and again. Let's go four up. There we go. Okay, the, the game gets confused when you spawn um, too many in at once. So I'm just going to run away from I think what probably happened there is it, because I had two trying to spawn in at the same time, the game got confused and they didn't know which doors to use, and I, I, I don't know. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna leave them there in, in the road, um, standing around looking looking confused. And I'm going to try and get onto the highway. Now, where? I've done this before and got it wrong before as well, so I could go off-road, but if I go off-road, then I'm bound to do some damage to my car, so I don't really want to do that. Let's just let's not wait for these lights to go green. Let's head way up north and get onto the highway off this way somewhere. Because if I carry on this way, there is an actual legit way to get onto the highway up north of the casino. And I think this is going to confuse the hunters because they're going to see see the uh, they hope they might see the circle heading up this way. Given that it's still a kilometer in radius, then maybe they won't. Maybe they won't even be able to tell what I'm doing. Um, but the, but with any luck, it'll it'll put it up a bit further north, and they'll um, and then and then they'll have a bit of a run to try and get back to it. What's that green glow in that car in front of me? Maybe some sort of head-up display thing, because I know at least some of them have that, or the screen on the center console or something like that. So yes, here we go. We can get onto the freeway here, and this road will now take me straight down through. There's a tunnel up ahead that goes past the uh, goes underneath the uh, underneath near the hospital. And then that takes you straight down to Square of Squares. So I think this is an excellent way to approach the checkpoint. At least if that car in front of me will just put its foot down a little bit. This is a, is a freeway. You're allowed to do more than 20 on a free freeway. He says doing about 50. I don't really know American speed limits, but I think 50, 50 miles an hour must be acceptable for a freeway, sure. So we'll try that. I am catching up with other cars. I am doing 60 as well, actually. So... <laughs> maybe 50 maybe 50 is acceptable but you know it's a jag so 
I think you can get away with a little bit of rule breaking. So down here somewhere, the, yeah, here we go. Here's the tunnel, the the, uh, the, green, the tunnel with the green lights in it. That leads past the uh, Pillbox Hill Medical Centre, and then down to uh, down to Square of Squares, where the where the checkpoint is. So I'm going in the right direction now. The, yep, there's the checkpoint. You can see the see the suspicious glow ahead of me. Excellent. There's a lot of cars around though because I've been doing. Oh dear, I'm in the wrong lane. Um, because I've been driving around at basically about the speed limit, so I've been sort of accumulating cars nearby, which isn't ideal. But I can come along here, get in the yeah. Let's get in the left turn lane. Stop here. I don't see any hunters. Lights going red for the for cross traffic. Is it my turn? Or is it going to be just straight on? Let's see. Okay, apparently it's cars coming from the south this now. Alright, well, there's not too much sitting around here making me look suspicious, so I'm happy to wait here for a little bit longer. There is one car parked behind me, which is one more than I'd like, but that's not too bad. Maybe I'll go. Oh, there we go, there's a green light. I pressed the take, take the checkpoint button a little bit sooner than I meant to. I should have pressed it back here. Oop, that car didn't corner as I meant to. <coughs> um, that was not quite ideal. Let's let's do the right turn here, because I want to get a bit further away from the checkpoint before Hunter suddenly appears. Wow! That was an abrupt time of day change. So that must be another um, another checkpoint effect. It's been... Um, yeah, that was definitely one I remember suggesting, um, having it suddenly become day, suddenly become noon or change time of day or something like that. Because it gives a bit of a sort of a bit of a, a distraction, makes me go, "Wow, what's happened?" And that's sort of the effect we're going for with the with the effects. So, golf course. Okay, golf course is is okay. It's it's a bit of a drive from here. What's the best way to do it? Yeah, I think if I get onto the highway at the the next the next intersection, there's an entrance to the highway. I can get onto that, follow it round to the right, and if I come off at Colourful Car Park, then I'll be quite close to the checkpoint. I'll be able to just nip up there and, and grab it from there. So I think that's probably a, a good a good plan. This Jaguar has served me pretty well so far. Should we try spawning another AI? See if they can I can get a third person in the car. Or if he's just going to get confused. No, he's confused as well because of the earlier ones, I suspect. Alright, never mind. He can just stay there. I've left him standing in the rain, poor guy. But I'm sure he'll be alright. Okay, so here we have highway highway entrance. So I want to come around this way and then go up here. Put my foot down a bit. And head off. So here we go. This the, There's a split in the highway here, so I need to go north. So that's this side. BMW pulled across in front of me rather abruptly. Which is, I mean, part of the course for a BMW, to be fair. I think it's a BMW. Can't quite tell from here. Looks like... I, th I think it might be. Yes, it's a BMW. I mean, I could, could sort of tell by the way it... Um, it swerved across the lanes in front of me. It's, uh, it's as I say, standard BMW behaviour. But from here, so as I was saying, we want to come across here, and then we want to go over to Colourful Car Park. Is that this? This? I think that's this exit. I think I want to actually come off here where it splits. Can't make the camera do what I want. No, this isn't where I wanted to go. I oh, want well, mind. I'm sort of committed now. Um, and that wasn't very good driving. If there was a hunter around, they probably got very suspicious about that. But uh, fortunately, they didn't seem to be. You know what, let's just drop onto the highway here. Um, get back onto the highway. I mean, this is a... I don't know whether the um, GTA AI is smart enough to not come off one highway, just go straight back on it or not. Well, well um, I haven't paid that much attention to vehicles, but we'll see. So, I'm stuck behind a cement mixer now. Great. Um, there's not too much traffic building built up behind me yet. There's just that car that's probably going to catch up. But in a moment, we'll be on the highway and, there, and then I can either put my foot down or maybe the, the cement truck will pull out into another lane and I can get round it. <clears throat> we shall see. Or maybe it'll just stay there. Don't come off at my exit, please. So here we go. This is Colourful Car Park. This is where I actually wanted to come off the um, off the motorway, not the not the previous one. So we come up here, and if we turn right here, then I'll be heading more or less towards the golf course. It'll be fairly easy to get to the checkpoint from here. So green lights, good. It's nice and well. <laughs> They were green when I got to them. That's good enough for me. Red light here. Okay, let's let's sit sit at the red light at least at least oop, while it's nice and quiet. That looked like Tristan on a motorbike. I think he didn't look at this look twice at this car. I mean, why would he? It's just it's just a generic natural spawned car sitting happily at a, at a red light waiting for it to turn green. So 
yeah, I know. I think it's quite reasonable for him to have just shot, but zipped past like that, and and, and not um, and not not been suspicious. There we go. There's a green light. There's a car in the middle of the junction. There's another car in the middle of the junction, but it's me now, and I have priority because I'm I'm a real person. Yes. <laughs> All right. Another red light. So, I have I have noticed before in playing GTA that the uh, the lights aren't very well synchronized. Now, in a, in a properly designed real city. They they try and synchronise the uh, the light so that when you go through one, then when you get to the next light, that'll be green as well, and then the next one and the next one. So you're not forever stopping at red lights. Um, now there are quite a lot of places where this isn't the case, and they just haven't set them up very well. And it appears that Los Santos is one of those places, which is you know it's bad for the environment because it means more ca cars spend more time accelerating and braking. It's bad for the um, it's bad for pe people's sanity because you spend all your time sitting at red lights, which is annoying. It's just generally not a good thing, really. You know? In, in any way um, but this is a computer game so I can kind of forgive it when it happens in real life it's harder to forgive okay. so th I can't do a right turn I, mean, I would right turn on red here but I can't because there's a car in the way so I'll just yeah but I'll turn down here anyway and then this is yes this is very much the approach to the golf course so I go straight on here uh, following along behind this van Turn right at the end here, and we've got a green light, even better. Come around here. And there's the checkpoint. Pink. Uh, that's a red light. I'll just drive through it anyway because I'm trying to get a little bit away from the checkpoint before anything happens. Now, there's at least one hunter down there, which is a concern. He didn't get suspicious though. That might be because there's three people in the car, as previously mentioned. Yes, this having multiple people in the car thing does seem to be working quite nicely. Mark is uh, Mark. Mike is now over there attacking somebody else. I think I should probably go. I don't see any lights, but in fact, I probably shouldn't have stopped there. But I was too busy getting hit by Mike for uh, to to, uh, to notice. <laughs> Okay, so that now that's the f the final checkpoint has now shown up, and that's a casino bridge, which is way over on the other side of the city from here. Oops, that's a pedestrian. Don't run out into the middle of the road panicking like that. That's silly. You'll get yourself hurt. So yes, casino bridge is. Um, there's a lot of panicking going on because I think there's a lot of shooting going on. There's probably the, the hunters are probably off killing a lot of AIs because they know I'm somewhere around here, but they've sort of rejected this car because, as, as I said, it's got. It's got three people in it, so it obviously can't be me. So I think this car is now... Yes, it's quite it's quite noticeably damaged because uh, Mark drove into it at high speed. So I do want to replace it with something else. Let's let's go and have a look in this... In the, oops, that's not how you get in the car park. Let's go and have a look in the car park. Let's see what I can find. And then I shall hop on the highway, give it the beans across the city, and try and, find, and, try and get that last checkpoint could take a motorbike, that might be exciting. I'm not taking that van, that seems like an extremely bad idea. What's on this floor? What's that? Is that a... Is that a, is that a Sultan? Yes it is. Okay, a Sultan will do nicely. Right, how do you... Which, what's the official way out of this? Place? Where's the way out? Oh, here there's a way out. Okay. There we go, squeeze through the gap there. Sultan is probably quite a good choice. I mean, the Sultan might have been a better choice when the when it was raining like that. And I think, if I remember correctly, I think the Sultan is possibly based on the Impreza. Um, so it's probably got four-wheel drive. The card that popped up when I got took the car and probably pops up again now if I'm if I'm on on the ball with this uh, will tell you whether it actually is all-wheel drive or not. Is that going to go up? No. Bonk. Okay, it is. Um, <clears throat> Um, so it would have been good earlier when it was ra when it was absolutely chucking it down with rain, but it's a sports car I think, and it's pretty quick. Um, yes, it's a sports car, and it's quite quick, so I think it's be a good one to a uh, good one to use for the for the last bit and to get away from the hunters if I need to. So we want a, a quick cross of the city on the highway, and then ideally I want to, I want to pull off a left turn to head up towards Casino Bridge. And I don't know if the highway allows you to do that, so I might be going to have to loop round and come back again. Um, but if I do, that's not the end of the world. There's one of the hunters. That looks like Ed, because it's yellow. Uh, 
bouncing around all over the place, but not 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 attacking me, so that's good. <clears throat> uh, right, how, where am I? How far across the city am I? Okay, so there is a an exit. Yes, it's this this exit I want, I think. Yes, if I go straight across. Oh, actually, no. I want to go. I just want to go straight up to the Vinewood, Br the Casino Bridge, actually. So let's. Ooh, that's not the right line. Let's let's just head up this way. That is a very yellow. I don't know what that is, but it's a very yellow, whatever it is. Jeez, that was a, that was an ugly colour. <laughs> Ooh, this line. This line. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so I am in traffic now, which is not ideal. Um. I'm at the back of the queue, though, which sort of suggests these vehicles were here before I got here. And does that mean there's another? Does that mean there's a hunter around who's caused them to spawn, or does it just mean there was a random little cluster of vehicles here? I don't really know, but I am concerned that it's going to get their attention. So that was, I think, probably Tristan on a bike again. He went past so fast, I didn't see what colour it was, but it was definitely a bike, and it went past through a red light. So I'm assuming it's a hunter. There is a blimp overhead. I don't think that's a hunter because I don't believe we're doing aircraft at the moment. But you never know. Alright, I'm still at the back of the queue. It's only a two vehicle queue. No, three vehicle queue now. There's a motorbike in front of that. So maybe this is less suspicious. There's still. There's more cars around than I would like. And there's that banana coming up behind me that I talked, mentioned earlier. That is a ridiculous colour. Um. Oh, there's a green light. Alright, let's see. Is this... There's a bit of traffic around. It's more than I would like, but hopefully it's not enough to be suspicious. So there is the checkpoint up ahead. Let's change lanes here. Get around this uh, Cardo van. Let's mark again. I feel like I've seen him a lot in this run. <laughs> they obviously have suspicions that I'm going for this particular checkpoint. Blimey. What's that van doing? Apart from attacking, clearly attacking me. Okay, there's... Mike appears to be parked in the checkpoint. Maybe he's changing cars, I don't know. But I can need to get out of here. Explode. <laughs> okay, the effect from that one was a tugboat. Um, I find this acceptable. Now, let's get out of here. Um, we are now in the final hunt. And that means the hunters no longer have a circle... But I have to prove that I'm no longer in a chase by getting to be more than a few hundred metres away from the hunters and uh, have, have achieved that for a certain amount of time. Now, I don't expect this to be particularly difficult because I'm, I'm not in a chase. There's nobody actually following me at the moment. So I think if I just keep my foot down and head down the city at high speed, they'll, maybe they'll expect me to go north because that's the obvious way to escape. Um, because it just leads you out of the city and there's a huge amount, you can go across the entire state that way, so there's loads of space to go, to, distance to cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn left here and go up this, oh there we go, another one. <laughs> Excellent. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, I think there have been a couple of funny things that have made this run a little bit easier than normal. Um, the extra large circle that was implemented for the larger number of hunters, for one thing, and also the... Um, uh, having multiple people in the car, and I feel I feel it was possibly a little bit easy mode because of because of the combination of those two. However, it has been a while since I've won one of these runs, so I'm not going to complain too much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week for another one. Bye bye. <laughs> I just found one called Is This an Oracle? <laughs> it is wondering... as well, isn't it? Uh... I was wondering how long it would take. Someone shot? I did. Yeah.
I killed the pedestrian to get the car. I uh, <clears throat> may have accidentally tactically failed to engage um, the, uh, um, some NPCs who may or may not have killed me to death. Uh, so, in other news, I am now um, tactically relocated across the map to Ghetto. This will serve as well if he does a stealth maneuver for the entire <laughs> length of the city without me noticing. I think he, yeah, uh, he's heading from B checkpoint north. Uh, th 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 uh, this is foggy. Uh, north west. So the towards, uh jumped too far. Towards uh, pier checkpoint, he's probably, yeah, he's passing pier checkpoint, still heading north. I lost him. It's too foggy. I think he. Yeah, he turned. What was he driving? A uh, dark car, um, like an old sedan. Oh, the sports it looks like a sedan, not that one, right? Uh, no, it was. I don't think so, no. I'm not sure. I think he's just changed car. Checkpoint taken. Oh my god! I've gained a wanted level. Uh, me as well. So. Oh, but that'll be the effect. Yep. So the good news is he's gained one too. Circle jump west. Oh. Ah! Sorry. Cool. Good takedown. <laughs> yeah. Good takedown. <laughs> a shame it was on me, not Lawrence, but yeah, it was still a good takedown. Uh, I did accidentally get into a car around there. Oh, back. actually, yeah, one of them is abandoned. One yeah, I, I accidentally got into a, um, a car. As you do. Yep. Uh, so I'm I think I'm guessing golf course. Golf course, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Shit. I was about to say no life invader, but I think it was too far away. Well, I'm near life invader, and it wasn't no life invader. It was okay. more northward. Yeah, I agree with him. I had them both in line. He's right in line with the Vinewood sign. He's right in line with the Vinewood sign. I'm not anymore. I know. I'm just messing. What the fuck? have a single chase at all in that entire one. No, he got away from us. These are hard. Like, this this version where we can't know where the checkpoint is is really hard. I spotted him briefly, but it was uh, so rainy that I slided all over the place. Yeah. 
And the circle was so big that I basically just saw green on my map the whole time. I couldn't. Yeah, I think gauge. the circle was too. The, we made the circle bigger last week because we had like ten people, and yeah. I think we've made it smaller again. 